Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here and today I am working with a brand new freebie collection from Tracy Reed Designs called Radiate Joy. I'm going to be creating this uh, stunning art journal page and so I hope you'll follow along with me today. Uh, first I have a photo of some flowers in our yard from April of this year and they were our first blooms that were popping up and then I've created a background here using some of the digital pattern papers and the digital mixed media products in the digital collection and so I've created that background page and printed them out to five by eight I'm using just an everyday uh, traveler's notebook here and then I also did a mixed media background. Um, I did this a couple of years ago. It's the polka dot on white that you see just using acrylic paints and a polka dot stencil. I didn't record that part of my process. Um, like I said, it was in my stash. And so I just thought I would use it today kind of to help that photo pop a little bit more. Mm -hmm off of the page and then I also printed out some of the embellishments in this collection and also notice the scallops so there were a couple of scallops in the collection uh, already created and then I also brought in some of the pattern papers and clipped that to the uh, the already created scallops so that I would have some of the different pattern papers here and so to start with I went ahead and adhered my photo to the stenciled background and then I'm gonna start laying down some of the scallops here for the layout these are gonna serve to ground my photo and my title and the title, by the way, says Chase Joy, and I used the Chase word that Tracy created and the Joy Woodward, <laughs> Woodward, um, not Squidward, but Woodward, um, just a little tongue-in-cheek <laughs> humor there. I pulled those together into one element, so merged the layers down in Photoshop and then added a second stroke uh, the chase already had a stroke, but I added a second stroke to the full title so that they would also stand out against the background. And then I'm just layering these beautiful scallops now up, up the page. I added one of the florals and one of the leaves over top of my photo already. And then I printed and cut the other floral and that's going to go here on the right hand side of the layout to balance those two elements to each other. So the title itself is going on top of the scallops and notice how I carried one of the scallops across to underneath the photo. This ties the photo group on the left hand side and the title group on the right hand side, the scallop serves to tie those together and visually lead you across. And I love that they also add this gorgeous little bit of texture. You'll notice as I go throughout the process that I'm just lifting those scallop edges a little bit. And when you see the close ups of this layout, I think you'll see that gorgeous scallop texture. I love the ease of those circles, those, those little half circles, and again, the repetition of the pattern papers and the florals that pop off of the background and pop off of the page. Now, the background that I created, uh, I did that in Photoshop. It's using three of the pattern papers. And so I've talked before about how I like to create my, my mixed media backgrounds using pattern papers and using the eraser tool 
in Photoshop to make the different parts of those pattern papers appear. And so you'll see little bits of the green around the edges and also little tiny touches of an orange pattern paper as well. And then I also used a digital mixed media piece uh, and again blended those out into the pattern paper using the eraser tool. Now the journaling, I just did one of the little tags. I put it upside down and wrote out that these were the first balloons of 2024. I'm always so excited when those appear. That always makes me so happy when our flowers start coming back in the spring. And so the final thing that I'm going to do is just add some uh, enamel dots here to the layout um, using some glitter dots uh, in blue and green and also that sort of peachy orange color that's in this collection. Those were my favorite colors and of course my photo pulls the yellow and so I did not use a lot of yellow embellishments on this layout that was a design choice an intentional design choice since there is so much yellow in the photo but instead I'm allowing allowing the soft colors around it to complement the photo here and I love how this turned out I hope that you will check out this beautiful collection I will have links down below uh, one of the ways that you can receive this collection is by signing up for Tracy Reed Designs uh, newsletter via email, and it's also available at Sweet Shop Designs. Thank you so much for following along with my process today, and I would love to have you uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you back here again real soon. Bye-bye.